As the summer season kicks off here in North Carolina, reptile and amphibian activity continues to increase with the rising temperatures. At this time of year, all of our native species have finally emerged from their winter cremation and are out and about looking for food or mate, which means that with a little luck and a lot of exploring in the right habitats, you can find almost any of the hundreds of reptile species that call North Carolina home. In today's video, let's head out into the field for some early summer herping. It didn't take long to start spotting snakes, and this little guy was caught basking on some field edge logs. Check it out. Look at this gorgeous little black racer. This guy has probably just had his very first shed out of formation this year. Look at that silky black color, and the belly is that beautiful iridescent blue. Now this is a very, very active diurnal species. He was actually out basking on the wood pile right behind me. And usually when they're on wood piles, you just absolutely cannot catch them because they dive right underneath. This guy, for some reason, decided to like stare me down instead of diving. So I was able to snag him. Um, and very, very difficult to see them at this size because unfortunately, lots of other snakes, lots of birds, lots of mammals will eat a small racer like this. Pretty much the only defense they have at this size is their ability to get away faster than a predator can grab them. Um, so that is why he's on the wood piles. It gives him a pretty safe place to bask um, without running the risk of being preyed upon. But yeah, it's just a really gorgeous animal. You can see this one has is pretty calm right now. When I first picked him up, he gave me like a little nip, but I mean, they really, they don't hurt at all at this size and they want nothing to do with humans. So what we'll do, we'll bring him right back over this way. He already feeds the wood pile. But this is right where he was. You guys can see why they're called racers. He is extraordinarily fast. Whoa. <laughs> that is so cool. But snakes weren't the only reptiles out and about during the warm weather. Okay guys, check out this absolutely tiny turtle. Hang on. That is literally the smallest turtle I have ever seen in my entire life. He is ponderously tiny. Like, this is beyond reason. This guy is actually maybe common musk turtle. Now, musk turtles on their own are a pretty uncommon species in North Carolina. They spend a lot of their time in the mud, just like a snapper would. So you don't usually see those out basking on logs or on the bank or anything like that. So if you do see them, it's almost always underwater. Now, <laughs> this little one was actually caught in a trap. He came in for some Vienna sausages and I definitely thought he was a rock when I first saw him. Now he will get many, many times this size over the next year or two until he's probably about three and a half inches um, in total length. But even that is kind of a tiny little cute turtle. You can identify mustards pretty easily because they look like tiny snappers. Their head shape and even their tiny little plaster on you can see looks very similar to a snapper. And then you have that dome shape shell. Let me see if I can show you that. The little dome shaped shell like that is how you can identify a musk turtle from other similar species. From an ecological perspective, musk turtles are unique because of their omnivorous feeding tendencies. With adults consuming everything from aquatic vegetation to carrion to live fish, this makes them important, both as low tier consumers and scavengers that recycle nutrients back into the food chain and help control disease spread. Musk turtles also live in shallow water aquatic ecosystems, such as ephemeral wetlands, which most other turtle species don't colonize. That is an adorable turtle. We're gonna send down the water over here. And hopefully, if he stays camouflaged, he can avoid predators until he becomes about that size. But he's still pretty tiny. <laughs> All right, see you buddy. While that baby musk turtle and racer were a ton of fun to see in the wild, they are still not as special to me as one of my absolute favorite snakes of all time, the black rat snake. So this, guys, is a really cute juvenile black rat snake. Now this is nowhere near as big as this species can get at maximum size. This one is maybe two and a half feet long at most, but probably uh, right around two feet. He actually, I can't show you, well maybe I can. He has a little nick. Kind of here on the side, I just noticed. It's okay, it's okay. It looks like he might have gotten nicked by a lawnmower right there. I hope that's not the case, because he's really, really cute. Now, he is not super calm right now. 
usually they're black rat snakes at least usually are a lot more calm than this probably it's because he's just so hot uh, that he's super energized you can see in this individual if I show you the side there he actually still has some of that patterning that they have as babies now it's not very defined but you can definitely see that there's still some white patterning going on on those sides. Now that sometimes confuses people because they expect black, black snakes to be just like absolutely jet black. And sometimes they are, um, but sometimes they also have a little bit of patterning like this one. But still, black rat snakes, the best way to identify them is still, you know, he's mostly black. He's pretty thin, not as thin as like a racer, but still really thin. And um, usually you do see them on edges like this or in the forest. So this little guy is probably not big enough to eat the larger mammals like squirrels or rabbits yet, like his parents maybe could. Uh, right now he's probably eating exclusively mice and lemmings, voles, other very small rodents out here in the forest. Uh, this one has a really pretty belly too. I'm trying to show you guys really, really pretty on this one. I'll try and get some B-roll shots if he calms down a little bit, but that's a really cool find. Um, once again, it's really humid today, really hot, so I was kind of surprised to see him out in this field area, but I think it's moist enough in this ditch that he could cool off that way. That's a really cool rat snake. I love this species. All right, guys, let's let this little guy right back in the wild. He was hanging out right here in this drainage ditch. We'll let him go, and he'll probably go right into the woods. I think that's where he was heading anyways. He's a real cutie. Hope he grows up. All right, everyone, that's just about it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about North Carolina's reptiles. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel for new educational wildlife content coming on Saturday mornings as often as possible. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to check out my Twitter and Instagram pages at The Wild Report for photos and video clips from my adventures. Thanks so much for watching, and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Benzino of The Wild Report, signing out.